Hi, my name is Captain Jeff. I teach sailing at the Sailing Academy. I'm going to talk to you today about two types of wind you need to know to sail proficiently. The first one is true wind. Second is apparent wind. You need to know how they relate to each other. First of all, the true wind is what's really happening outside as you're standing still or I'm not in any motion at all. And apparent wind is the wind you feel. It's a combination of what's really happening and the boat speed. And we'll take those two together and that will be the apparent wind. We really sail by what the boat feels and that's the apparent wind. So we trim according to apparent wind and we sail according to apparent wind. I'm gonna take you inside our classroom and draw it on the whiteboard just so you can see it a little bit better. Right now I'm sitting on a sailboat that's stationary tied to a dock. So the wind I'm feeling is absolute true wind because I'm not moving right now. And it's blowing about three to five knots right now. Let's head into the classroom. As we think about true versus apparent wind, I want you to look at this. Motion plus or minus true wind equals apparent. Motion bends or changes the true wind to give you apparent wind. Think about it this way, if you're on your bicycle and there's absolutely no wind outside, you start riding your bicycle about 10 miles an hour, what are you gonna feel? 10 miles an hour breeze. Motion has created apparent wind. And when there's no wind out, all you're feeling is the apparent wind created by the motion. Now, if you're um, on your bicycle and you're going at 10 miles an hour, but there's wind blowing that day and that wind's blowing at you at 10 miles an hour, you're gonna feel 20 miles an hour because 10 miles an hour of motion plus 10 miles an hour of true wind equals 20. So that's why motion plus true wind equals apparent. Now, if we turn around, here's our arrow. Let's say this is you, you're going away from the wind now at 10 miles an hour, but the wind's also blowing behind you from 10 miles an hour. You're gonna feel, if you said zero, you're correct. You're gonna feel zero wind. In sailing, that's really important because we know that when we feel, we feel zero wind apparently, then the sails are apparently gonna not have any pressure on them at all. And it's just gonna, it's gonna, the boat's gonna slow down until you feel more pressure. So true versus apparent wind, motion plus or minus true wind um, equals your apparent wind. The motion will change two things about the true wind that's going on out there. In another video, we gave you a lot of different ways to find the wind. The things that are off your boat will give you the true wind. For instance, a flagpole, you see a flag flying, that's the true wind because the flagpole is stationary. So if you're gonna find your apparent wind, you need to use indicators that are on your boat. Motion plus or minus true wind equals apparent wind. It's gonna change the velocity and the direction. Velocity is what we just talked about. If you're going away from the wind, you're going to subtract the true wind from your boat speed. If you're going into the wind, you're gonna add your boat speed to the true wind and that will be your apparent wind. So that's what it means by velocity. Direction, let's look at that for a second. Let's say I'm going this direction at about five knots and the wind's blowing from the side of me right about here and I'm going this direction. I'm creating apparent wind from the forward momentum of my boat. Now, what it's gonna do, it's gonna feel like we're gonna add these two together and they're gonna pull together. The apparent wind is gonna be coming from right about over here. So apparently it's gonna be farther forward than what the actual true wind is. You always sail by apparent wind. So I want you to think about where the wind's coming from and think about your motion to boat either subtract or add if it's in front of you, you're gonna add it, if it's behind you, you're gonna subtract. If you like this video, you find it helpful, hit the like button. Uh, you can subscribe to our channel because we also give tips like this. Go over a lot of our little snippets of course material to help build your sailing education.